The South Carolina Gamecocks returned to Colonial Life Arena tonight after defeating the Georgia Bulldogs on Saturday. After their win on Saturday, they became the number one ranked team in the SEC. Tonight, they take on the Alabama Crimson Tide in hopes of obtaining their 10th SEC win. The game started off slow for both the Gamecocks and the Crimson Tide, with both teams failing to make shots. The first points of the night came from Xavier Stormwell after he was fouled. The rest of the half was dominated by Alabama due to Carolina's excessive fouls and missed field goals. Carolina did not start the second half discouraged because we all know that in the game of sports, anything is possible. The game was in Colonial Life Arena, but Alabama was in Sin City. The Gamecocks fought hard and forced Alabama to overtime. Thanks to Dornwell's free throws, just one overtime wasn't enough and the game went 2-2. The second overtime was filled with a number three. A three from P.J. Dozer and Alabama's Armin Davis led both teams to a third overtime. The fourth, yes fourth, overtime came down to the wire. Alabama eventually took the lead after Dozer fouled out and Dwayne Notice missed back-to-back -back threes. The Alabama Crimson Tide will take their nail-biter victory back home to Tuscaloosa and improve their SEC record to 7-4. The South Carolina Gamecocks fell in not one, not two, but four overtimes to the Alabama Crimson Tide. Carolina's Sandarius Thornwell had a career high of 44 points, while Alabama's Armin Davis and Avery Johnson had a combined 42 points. The Gamecocks have a chance to bounce back this Saturday as they travel to Starkville in order to take on Mississippi State. For Capital City Sports, I'm Nicole Dennis.